Yo, yo, what up, my beautiful Dowdies? How's everyone doing today? I'm your host, Val. Let's talk about March 7th. The new form for March 7th is finally confirmed. When we are going back to Loaf, where she's going to get a new form and she's going to be a Swordsmaster. They released her at the Summer Game Fest and it was very unexpected, but she got released and she's looking quite interesting. She's not going to have a new 5-star form. It is still a 4-star March 7th, but she got a new weapon and a new outfit. She kept the same hair color. You know, she didn't get a complete overhaul, but she did get some changes here and there. I made a couple of videos about March 8th. That's the meme, of course. The new form from March 7th we were speculating in all of things i was speculating maybe that she became an imaginary because dun hang and uh harmony trailblazer are which she is now but that theory didn't really make that much sense because dun hang's first form was imaginary and the harmony trailblazer is the second form so that didn't really work out but she still got that imaginary element now which is very interesting it's an imaginary hunt character and that is something i did not see coming the hunt path there was a lot of people that were talking about maybe hunt or that they were wishing that she was on well you guys got your wish your dream she is a hunt character and i like it actually when i'm starting to think about it i think the hunt path is very interesting because hunt is a little bit like that path still to me that is not that appreciated bootail is taking the hunt path to the next level that is a good thing to see bootail is showing that hunt path can also be very strong so i hope that this new form from march 7th is going to be an actual powerhouse. I really want this to be a very, very worth it character to build. I want March 7th to have the same treatment as the Harmony Trailblazer. I want her to be as valuable as the Harmony Trailblazer. That would be very cool because that means everyone gets a free, really good DPS. And that is something I'm always trying to push out in these games. If we have free characters that we can use, build for free, we don't need to spend any tickets or whatever it is, and we get an insanely good unit out of it that is a huge 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 bonus and a huge boost for any account and it will if march 7 is already one of your favorite characters you can actually make her your main dps now that is something very cool let's say you start a new account you get the harmony trailblazer for free now you get march 7 for free as a good character you get a free links we get now a shui yi free in the new event in the new end game mode we get a natasha of course we get dunhang as well but that's a little bit of a you know not as valuable but you can already make two like functional teams you got two sustainers you got march 7 as a dps you got a really good harmony support like account is very 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 good very quickly because of that and i think that is nice of course, the free duct ratio is not there anymore, so that is a little bit sad. That would have been an insanely bonus as well. But then you have two hunt imaginary characters, so that's a bit awkward in general. And one is a 5-star and one is a 4-star. But hey, you never know. Imagine if March 7th is actually going to be better on paper, numbers-wise, than duct ratio. Of course, duct ratio has that follow-up synergy so i don't know what march is going to do what her core kit is what she's maybe she's going to be a breaker if she's going to be a breaker guys oh that would be so sick imagine if she's going to be a breaker unit if she's going to be a breaker unit and you have the harmony trailblazer you've double imagined like that would be a very cool combo don't know if they're going to do that let me know in the comments down below what you guys think March 7 is going to do. If she's going to be a breaker, if she's going to be a follow-up attacker, if she's going to be maybe synergizing with imprisonment or delaying the action. Like There's a lot of capabilities and possibilities here. And I'm just very excited and happy to see finally this mystery unraveled. I'm very, very excited now to go back to Lofu because the trailer, the hype they're making it, and all of the stories and mysteries we're going to unravel there is going to be very fun and i'm super excited to see how good march 7th is going to be in her imaginary hunt path form i'm not quite sure i'm not quite sure if this is going to be the only one in the original one because she lost her memories and she's trying to get those memories back or she's trying to find out who she really is and i'm getting a feeling that this is not the only march 7th form we're going to get i think she's just going to learn how to use a sword here in lofu She's going to become a Swordsmaster. And I don't think she was a Swordsmaster before. I think this is one of the many forms we're going to get from March 7. And I'm pretty sure Hoyoverse confirmed this, that she's going to get multiple forms. I'm pretty sure this is not the original March form. I think this is just a form. She wasn't a Swordsman before that we found her in the Ice Cube. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure that was not the case. I could correct me if I'm wrong and let me know in the comments down below. But I think this is just a step forward for her. This is not going to find out backwards, right? What she was. This is just like, all right, I'm just going to 
try a bunch of things. I'm going to try to figure out who I am by stepping forward. Let me try swords. You know, I use the bow. I'm going to use a sword now. And I'm going to ask people in low food, like the swordsman there, to teach me. I think that is exactly what's going to happen. Hey, pause the video right now. Over 90% of you people that watch my videos actually are not subscribed to my channel. It would mean a lot to me if you would actually consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind after. Let's continue with the video. If we really look at her design and her splash art, we can clearly see that she put something on. She put a new outfit on, she did her hair differently, she grabbed a sword. It's just an outfit change and then for us players, that outfit change is then a new path and a new element for us. Although the element part is a little bit confusing still because she did use ice before this and they found her in the ice cube. So that's why she got the ice element. But now she has a different element. Imaginary is a bit of a weird element though because I feel like in Honkai Star of the imaginary element is just the weird element in the game. It's not like it is actually a element like fire or water or wind. I think imaginary is more of a random element. Dale is imaginary and he uses a water dragon. The imaginary element is more, is like literally imaginary. It can be anything. And I think that's why it is not necessarily connected to her past with the ice. Very interesting though. I really like the change in her hair. She's starting to look like a panda bear. And I think that's very cool because it's from that culture. It gives her a little bit more playful and a more imaginary look. And I think that is very good. Even if you look at the text here, Interpost Star Rail Navigator, March 7th. Pardon my manners. March 7th is a... Zhang Zhao styled outfit, a sword wielding female martial artist, learning swordsmanship from both Yun Li and Yang Xing. Ah, she's eager to create more beautiful memories on the Zhang Zhao. Pom Pom's tips participate in the event to unlock March 7th's new path. Stay tuned. Exactly. She's learning swordsmanship. Confirmed now. She's learning swordsmanship and she's moving forward. It is not really digging into her past. Maybe we get that still. Maybe we're going to dig into her past, finding out where she comes from and who she really is. But she's also finding out who she is now with moving forward. And I think that's also a very good life quote, you know. If you want to find out who you are as a person, try stuff out and discover who you are by moving forward. I think that's a very good philosophy to have in life as well. And I'm just very excited to see what she's going to be and what, what team comps are going to work. Because I love that Star Wars is really turning into a game where team comps team compositions matter a lot and every time we get a free unit that is good we get a better puzzle piece or a expanding puzzle piece whatever march is going to bring to the table i'm pretty sure they're going to find a way to make her good i don't think they're going to make any of the beginning casts bad they did it with dale they did it well with thrillblazer all of them have a very high value to them and that's very nice to see i'm actually super excited to try her out as a dps there's a lot, a lot of cool characters out there. that could probably synergize with her really well. So I'm super excited to see what she's going to do. This is the most excited I have been since 2.0 of Panacone, I think. We, already, we have already seen the planet where we're going to go back. We already, we've already seen this planet, but for some reason, there's so much, so many things to unravel. Maybe even Ting Yun is going to be there again, the real Ting Yun. There's a lot of things on Loaf that has been forgotten or that still has mysteries there, right? And I think a lot of you guys have that as well. We we wanted maybe a little bit more, but then we already went to Panacone and there was a lot of books and stories left open there. So I'm actually very excited to go back. I don't know if we're gonna go back in 2.3 though. We're really going to close Panacone's book in 2.3. And then in 2.4, we're going to get the Lofu train again. And we're going to get the two new banners there. And I'm, I'm also speculating that Huofu is going to get a rerun then. And then we're going to get March 7th on, in 2.4 as well. So 2.4 is going to be the most exciting patch for me so far. And do know that if you have not built your March properly, my March is also still a little bit in the beginning phase. I just used her in the beginning of the game when I didn't have any sustainers. She's level 60. Don't be too sad if you've leveled her or if you, she's already maxed out because her new form is just going to probably need new traces. The incension is actually going to be extremely valuable. You're not going to lose out on those sentient materials, which is very nice. You probably have to put a new relic set on her and maybe she's going to get Eidolons on top of that. We don't know that yet because the Eidolons that she has right now in the game are actually on a banner, right? She's She actually is a four star on these limited banners. So we might get free Eidolons by playing or she might be put on banners and that means she would be a whole new character. It's a bit weird still how that's going to be unraveled. But if you have good hunt light cones, that's going to work with that with her as well. 
there's a good simulated universe light cone out there and she's probably going to be a very very interesting character to start building or to pick up when her new path and element is there the new form let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the new form of march 7 if you're very hyped if you're going to build her if you're not going to build her what do you think she's going to do that's the most important one what role is she going to fill as an imaginary hunt character i would love to hear you guys takes on this make sure to like and subscribe it really helps out the channel it means the world to me if you could do that make sure to join the discord link in the description and if you want to support the channel even further and become a member i love you all and have a wonderful day i'll see everyone in the next video take care Peace.